Llewellyn's Little Book of Moon Spells by Melanie Marquet. Um, so you get the list of spells and other magic potions and powders at the beginning. Um, acknowledgements, introduction, moon magic basics, lunar correspondences, um, timing magic with the moon, lunar potions and powders, um, moon spells by lunar phase, special moon magic, um, moon spells by goal, and a uh, year of moon magic, and then you get um, conclusion references and resources. So you get things like strengthening lunar connections, um, having a moon journal, moon bath, natural places, animal spaces, um, moon in the zodiac, um, so things that are connected to the moon in some way, um, tips in dark circles, um, it's mainly um, spells and things to do. Um, there are five sources, um, some info as reference to get a bit more of why you would um, use them. So, um, like this is the list of spells, so name of it and page, obviously like any other type of um, index um, and then you get like a little bubble here like dye your hair in the first Friday following the new moon for longest lasting results um, waxing or waning um, other magic moon bath creating spe a special place for moon magic, and that's all places, ocean, seas, rivers, um, and other places, um, animals, so you get like a brief intro and then like a list, otherworldly and mythical beings, mermaids, ghosts, dragons, fairies, werewolves, banshees, unicorns, um, trees, plants, and some other things. Oh. Um, but yeah, you kind of get lists of stuff, um, full moon charging ritual, um, moon cakes, um, moonstone, moonstone has been, uh, um, appreciated since ancient times for, bo for both its beauty and its magical attributes. Um, the stone is said to have many, um, mystical properties, including the ability to attract love and enhance psychic abilities and a little bit of, um, other information. Um, so, and then, like, in, like, this bubble, the Chinese poet Li Bai wrote many famous poems about the moon. Um, so... Uh, the resources are, like, five websites. So, it's not resourcing to other um, books or references, so, um, it's mainly on um, what the author has connected to, so you kind of get the, um, you kind of get the feeling of where did some of this information, did the author um, get from, or did it to just pull it out of um, random space, but um, like I think for like the list of like places and like animals and whatever, you kind of can see that they have come from like other places that are like yeah these are the place places. Um, you can get that connection or like her own personal connection of like trees or stones or whatever that um, she's connected to it. But it is um, pretty interesting, it's not in depth, it's just, um, to me it's a basic introduction to these things and can be a starting point. Yeah, it doesn't have the references, but it can be an addition to the other references that you would have. Um, so yeah, Llewellyn's Little Book of Moon Spells, happy readings.